Hello everyone and welcome to our lesson for today. For today's lesson, we will be looking at the second part of getting to know letters. So let's get started. Materials. For our materials today, you will need paper and pencil. If you have that special handwriting paper, go ahead and grab that. If not, line paper will work just fine. There are three learning targets for our lesson today. The first target says, I can search for letters in a familiar text or poem, Q, U, and X. Our second target says, I can identify the name and sound for the letters Q, U, and X. And our last target says, I can follow directions for writing the letters Q, U, and X. Writing. A fox and a quail in the rain. A fox on a box and a quiet little quail sat under an umbrella in the rain. It was a quarter to six. They were in quite a fix. The water, it was rising so quick. They climbed up a big tree and who did they see? A queen with a bright golden crown. So together they sat and had a long chat and waited until the water went down. Now this time, I am going to read our poem again. And when I read the poem, I want you to look really carefully and notice the letters Q, U, and X. And any time you see those letters in our poem, I want you to touch your nose. Are you ready? Here we go. A fox on a box and a quiet little quail sat under an umbrella in the rain. It was a quarter to six. They were in quite a fix. The water, it was rising so quick. They climbed up a big tree and who did they see? A queen with a bright golden crown. So together they sat and had a long chat and waited until the water went down. Nice job touching your nose for all those Q, U, and X letters in our poem. All right, let's see if we can find all of those Q, U, and X words in our poem one more time. Are you ready to look and listen? Here we go. A fox on a box and a quiet little quail sat under an umbrella in the rain. It was a quarter to six. They were in quite a fix. The water, it was rising so quick. They climbed up a big tree and who did they see? A queen with a bright golden crown. So together they sat and had a long chat and waited until the water went down. I hope you found all of those Q, U, and X words. Sounds. Did you notice that every Q was followed by a U? Hmm, this is something we will pay close attention to. Q and U are stuck like glue. Can you say that after me? Q and U are stuck like glue. Great job. Let's say our letter sound chant for all of the new letters that we've just learned. I want you to repeat them after me. Let's start with the letter Q. Q, qu, quail U a uh, umbrella X x fox Awesome job with your letter sound chant Writing 
Today we are going to learn to write our letters Q, U, and X. But first, let's practice skywriting them and saying the sounds. I'm going to model them first and then you can try them. Watch. I'm going to start with the uppercase Q first. Qua. Qua. You try. Now let's do the lowercase q. Qua. Qua. You try. Good job. Now let's try our uppercase u. Uh. Uh. You try. Now let's try the lowercase u. Uh, uh. Nice work. And let's try our uppercase X. 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 You try. Great. Now let's do the lowercase X. 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 You try. Nice job skywriting. Now we're going to do something really exciting. Remember that handwriting paper? Go ahead and grab it if you have it. If not, any paper will work just fine. We're going to start with our letter Q, our uppercase Q. Let's practice writing it on our handwriting paper with the little mouse. Remember that little mouse guides us as we're writing our letters. Starting at the headline, for the uppercase Q, coming all the way around to the foot line and coming all the way back up to the headline and stop. And then coming to the middle of our circle and making a slant to the right and stopping at the foot line. And we've made our uppercase Q. Now let's try the lowercase Q. Take your pencil and start at the belly line and come around like we're making a C going to the foot line and coming back up to the belly line and then coming down, making a straight line past the foot line to the tail line and then making a little curve at the end of our line. And we've made the lowercase Q. Now let's make our uppercase U. Starting at the headline, coming all the way down to the foot line, curving around and going straight back up to our headline. Now let's make the lowercase u. Starting at the belly line, coming all the way down to the foot line, making a curve and going back up to the belly line. Now let's make our last letter. Let's make our uppercase x. Starting at the headline and slanting down to the right, all the way to the foot line and stop going back up to the headline and then coming down at a slant to the left crossing in the middle and going to the foot line now let's do our lowercase x starting at the belly line and slanting down to the right stopping at the foot line coming back up going to the belly line again and this time slanting to the left crossing in the middle and stopping at our foot line. And we've just practiced writing all of our uppercase and lowercase letters for Q, U, and X. Nice job. Closing reflection. When we write the letter Q, how can we remember where to start? Yes. We remember to start at the belly line when we're writing our letter Q, our lowercase Q. How will that help us with our writing? Nice work thinking. Keep up the good work practicing writing the letters Q, U, and X. Thanks for joining me again today as we practice writing our letters Q, U, and X. I hope you had fun and I will see you next time. Bye.